The Boogeyman in Bobo's House. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. It's way past Halloween, and Bobo's house is still haunted. Strange things are happening in the Bobo household. And downstairs, we always thought, Dawn and I always thought the house was something not right with downstairs, because I don't spend a lot of time down there, except in my office and in the shrine. But I don't like to go down there, because I, I just don't feel right. This breaking news, Ronnie the limo driver is bringing back the beard. John Lieberman uncovered the story. What led to the decision to grow the beard? I don't know. It's been a while. Something different for a change. Had Batman. Had a mustache. Had a goatee. I'm growing the beard back now. Will you color it? Of course. I have to match it to the mustache. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, it's the Howard 100 News Week in Review, including Backstage with John Stamos. That's on Howard 101. Broadcasting deep from the heart of the Howard Stern Building, the pulse of the Howard Stern Channels, this is Howard 100 News. The announcement of Howard Stern's birthday bash has triggered Howard memories with fans and stars alike, including Regis. It's Howard 100 News behind the scenes. Cabbies, waiters, everybody around New York was talking about Howard Stern. Talk show host Regis Philbin remembers when he came back to New York City 30 years ago. He felt like he was the only one not listening to Howard Stern because his show was live at the same time as Howard's. But he knew when Howard mentioned his name because everyone told him about it. Yeah, he was funny, of course, but if it was about you, (laughs) you felt like it was a tack. And then one day, things changed. I walked into my elevator and I couldn't believe it, but there he was. Howard Stern. He started to say, I know you hate me. Go ahead, take a swing. I said, no, no, Howard, come on. Welcome to the building. We're happy to have you. And they've been friendly ever since. And three decades later, Regis says Howard's still the guy to listen to. Yep, he can still raise hell. But that's Howard doing his business. And we'll be celebrating the King of All Media's birthday with a King of All Birthday Bashes Friday, January 31st. Lisa G., Howard 100 News. Another Howard 100 News Brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get. Howard 100.